sometimes the friends when I get that many mean comments or that much flack in the comments and heat and rude and people like telling me I hope you gain weight and I hope that you're not healthy because of that. When people say that, it really makes me think, well maybe I don't want to help people anymore. Maybe I don't want to post these videos and say goodbye everyone, you're on your own. McDonald's and Burger King meal plans have been getting a lot of love but they've also been getting a lot of heat and I just want to start by saying I was just trying to help you I am getting a lot of mean and rude comments and people like telling me good luck to your health and your health is garbage and this is garbage and I don't like this and like yelling at me in the comments on the video I was just trying to help you and first of all, the first thing, people are yelling about how expensive it is. Well, I live in Canada, so the prices could be different depending on where you live. And we did say that. Second, I'm getting yelled at for the calories. Can I say, go back and watch it again? Because I told you in both videos, this is an estimate. It is not accurate. It is not accurate. It is not accurate. If you are a scientist, great! You can put the exact calories for me in the comments. I went to the website, Canadian website, looked it up, did a ballpark, went and did the video for you guys, actually got the food, ate it to show you that if you're somebody who doesn't have time to cook, who's a busy mom who has to feed her kids, who's somebody that likes going out to a restaurant or for fast food every once in a while that you can actually do it and still lose weight if you choose the kids menus at restaurants on the menu plans at fast foods you can eat and still be in a calorie deficit that's what I was trying to show you you don't have to eat like this I'm not telling you go eat fast food every day I don't eat like that every day I eat some treats a, a few times a week and the rest of the week I choose foods that are much more nutritional for myself but life is about balance and sometimes we forget lunch and we can go to McDonald's or Burger King or wherever and choose the lowest calorie thing on the menu and eat it and love it and still lose weight so this channel is about two people me and Sass my boy behind the camera <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Two real people, husband and wife, who were very overweight. Sass was almost 400 pounds. I was almost 300 pounds. We were lost. We were using food to cope. We were stress eating, overeating, turning to food constantly. There was no YouTube at the time. We needed to lose weight and we didn't know what to do. So this whole channel is about two people that figured out how to do it, still eat treats. We lost 130 pounds each and this is our eighth year in our fitness journey. We've kept the weight off for over five years. We just want to help. In the beginning, when we were at our heaviest weight, we needed to lose weight because we had so many medical issues and it was getting really hard to bend down to tie our shoes. We were out of breath going upstairs. We knew it could get worse if we didn't lose weight. But we also knew that we couldn't go from eating what we were eating in a day to chicken and broccoli and stay on it and make it sustainable. So we decided, okay, we're not gonna change what we're eating. We're gonna change how much we're eating. We started doing portion control and we still wanted to go on dates. So we went to restaurants. What we did was we would go to a restaurant, order one entree and split it. Or we would go to Burger King, Wendy's, in Canada there's Harvey's, and we would order the lowest calorie thing on the menu or a kid's meal and we would eat that as a treat. Sometimes we went to a restaurant, got a burger and brought a salad and a baked potato in the car and we had car dates. We still ate fast food. We bought frozen fries and ate frozen fries at home. We just counted them out for the serving on the back of the bag. We ate ice cream every day, low calorie ice cream. We ate like normal people and 
portioned everything out. Whatever we wanted, we ate. We ate popcorn, ice cream, cookies, you name it. We just portioned it out. And those two videos, the McDonald's and the Burger King meal plans, were to show you it is possible if you are stuck, if you don't want to give up fast food or food that you love, you don't have to do it. We're two people who were so stuck and we were using food and we learned by giving ourselves what we wanted in a balanced diet, just portioning out our food, we were able to lose the 130 pounds each, keep it off, and love what we're eating. We also often get a lot of flack about eating chemicals or processed foods. And one thing we learned on our journey is you have to choose your battles. Eating sugar-free syrups that have chemicals is a battle that we choose not to worry about. So if you are a perfect eater, if you can go from what you're eating, you're heavy, you want to lose weight, you can go from what you're eating now and eat perfectly clean and healthy, completely organic, vegan, um, sugar-free, or whatever you want to do, that is awesome. But Sass and I, we're not perfect eaters. And we've never claimed to be. We've also never recommended that you do what we do, eat what we eat. We're just sharing what works for us because we were struggling and there was nobody like us to show us that it's possible. So we want to be the change. We want to show, we want to show you that it's possible to do what you want and lose weight and be happy. So if you're somebody that can do keto or intermittent fasting or whatever diet you want to do, that's awesome too. However, we tried all of those diets, every diet out there, and it didn't work for us. What worked for us was portion control, having some fast food sometimes, having some treats, and then eating sometimes clean, sometimes with sugar-free syrup with chemicals, <laughs> and sometimes diet pop with chemicals, and that works for us. And also, we also want to be two regular people who lost the weight that are honest about it. We tell you about our struggles. We tell you we're not perfect eaters. We make mistakes. We're human. We are two real people. What you see on camera is what you get. Some people tell me, tone my energy down. I was born like this. <laughs> Somebody said, stop acting. I'm not acting. <laughs> I, I believe me friends I wish she was acting sometimes she's not she wakes up like this she goes to bed like this I literally do the frog off camera all day <laughs> her and Hank are doing the frog all the time <laughs> and why we want to be two real people being honest about weight loss is because there are a lot of social media influences influencers out there who are telling you things so that they can sell you things we're not trying to sell you anything. We're just trying to be two people who want to help others who are stuck the way we were before. Now let's sell them something. Now we're going to sell you something. <laughs> but we're being honest about it. If you want to know exactly what Sass and I ate to lose our first 50 pounds and to lose the next 50 pounds after we hit a plateau, we have two weight loss guides and these weight loss guides friends keep in mind they're not telling you what to eat no. they're showing our exercises our recipes which are all awesome and exactly what we ate we yes. meaning us exactly not you the first 50 if you buy it you what you will see what you get in that all the recipes that we created made and ate to lose the first 50 pounds. The meal plans that we created and used to lose our first 50 pounds and the toning moves that we used to lose the first 50 pounds. So when we sell something, there's no promise with that. No, it's exactly what we did. The next 50, after the first 50, we hit a plateau. So the next 50, it's kind of like a challenge. It's one step up because we had to start changing things up and get a little more strict in order to lose the next 50 pounds. So again, the exercises in that book, the meal plans, the recipes, they're exactly what we ate, made, created, and did to lose our next 50 pounds. So if you wanna see that, that's what we did. You don't have to eat like that. That's what we did. And 
The links are down below if you want to buy them. You don't have to. And if you don't buy them, the good thing is it's in all our videos for free. Yeah, you can go watch them for free on the internet. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> if you want them compiled, they'll have all the recipes, have all the workouts, have all the meal plans all compiled in one place for 29 bucks. It's a great deal. Pretty good deal. And I want to say one more thing. To all the people, and there are so many people out there that support us on all our social media, that always leave amazing com compliments in the comments, that are always saying thank you, that appreciate what we do, that see what we're trying to do. We really love and appreciate your support. We read all your comments. We really appreciate it. And we're gonna keep doing videos for you because we know it's helping you. We love you. Thank you for your support. Now, do the stop, hit the bills, and at the collects on Instagram. Get there now, like and subscribe, it's okay. And now, you're gonna get the frog in the most energetic frog ever. The outdoors frog. No. <laughs> Let's out peace. <laughs> you almost slipped there. I think I gave myself whiplash. <laughs> peace. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.